I believe that most human beings are only living at about 40% of their capability. So the mind has a governor, like a car. If you're driving a car and the car has a governor on it, the car may say 130 miles an hour, but the governor's set for 91. Once that governor sets in, you get to 91, that car starts doing this. The car wants to go. The car wants to go, but that fucking factory said, uh-uh, we're not going past 91. We have a factory, a nice governor in our brain, and it's a survival mechanism. It protects us from pain and suffering. The second we feel that shit, our mind says, oh no, this isn't fun. We should back off. We should sit down, find something more comfortable. And there's something about the mind. The mind has the tactical advantage over you at all times. At all times of your life, the mind has a tactical advantage over you. Why is that? It knows what you're afraid of. It knows your insecurities. It knows your deep, dark lies. And it starts to push you away from that shit. It pushes you in a direction that is comfortable. The mind controls everything. So what I realized was that when I was growing up and I was 300 pounds and I got all fat and I got all insecure, I realized that my mind kept taking me in this direction when things got uncomfortable for me, when I was facing my insecurities, I was facing my fears, my mind said, oh no, we have a tactical advantage. We need to get you, separate you from this feeling. This feeling over here, life's all about feelings. We want the happy feeling. We don't want that feeling of this sucks. Why am I here? And you don't have any, so, so you can't answer those questions, so you leave. I started realizing that if in that moment, you can answer those fucked up questions and you are now in charge of your brain versus your brain ruling you. That's where all that stuff comes from. So, so, so the 40% rule is all of that. You get to 40%, your brain says, we're done. Let's roll, man. This is starting to get painful. This is uncomfortable. So you sit down, you have to figure out ways and everybody's different. That's how the book kind of talks about, like we all have these things about, you know, five steps to this and, and four steps to this. It's, it's a lot more than that. That's all bullshit. It's, it's a practice that you have to, it's a habit. So if you know that at 40%, I'm still, you know, I'm feeling pain. At 40%, I'm feeling pain. That's where the 40% rule kicks in. Now it starts, okay, I, I'm, I'm feeling pain. My mind's saying all this shit to me. It's saying, get out of here, run, flee. The fight or flight kicks in. Okay, we're done, we're not good enough. It starts telling you all these things. You start to believe it because the mind controls all. This is the time where you have to gain control back of your mind. It's say, okay, let me see if I can go 45%. And once you start giving yourself more and more hope and start realizing, okay, the mind starts to be, okay, wh what are you doing? We're supposed to be going right and you're going left. You start then controlling your mind, start finding more in, you know, in yourself. And then it goes from 40% to a lot further than that. But that's the start of it though. Get to, get to the spot where your mind is saying, stop. Wherever that is, you gotta get there first. And then that's when that shit starts to work for you. You gotta control yourself in that moment.